Welcome to our EMS Leadership Q&A. And today's question is, Lisa, why is failure so stigmatized when it's necessary for real innovation? It's such a great question because um, being afraid of failure or having the stigma around failure really um, prevents people from growing. And I would say, it, you know, our past experience with failure really is what creates our uh, relationship to it in ongoingly, you know, it, that's why there's a stigma is how we were, how we, when we, we failed in the past, what happened, you know, did somebody make fun of us? Did um, we look really bad? Did we get embarrassed? You know, did, w did someone say that's okay to, that you failed and you know, it, that's how you learn. I mean, how we, how we were um, treated when we failed in the past is really why it, it, people have such a fear of it. Um, I think people are afraid of not knowing the answer, right. you know, looking bad, uh, especially when the stakes are high. And in EMS, a lot of times we take, you know, how how we need to be in a crisis situation and we sort of use that um, throughout the rest of our time when in fact it's it's not really, we don't have to have the same mindset in every single situation. Absolutely. I mean, often we say, right, it's the uh, the life or death situations are the 2% of the time. We're not asking you to um, be innovative in that moment. We rely on your 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 training and your instincts and your, and your life-saving skills. We're talking about the other 98% of the time where we're dealing with interpersonal issues, organizational issues, the future of the organization. How do we be innovative in keeping within our organization, in our community? And that's where I think uh, the second point here is you have the ability to re reframe the failure and sometimes you win and sometimes you learn, right? So um, they also say you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So what are you missing and giving up by not trying something new in your organization or yeah, that's, I think about a situation or a suggestion? Yeah. I think contextualizing it is really important and reframing it, like you said. Um, you know, I often say to people, you know, think about when your child or a child that you love is learning to walk, right? You don't go when they fall down, stupid, you idiot, you know, no, we have compassion and caring and it's part, we understand that that falling is part of, of learning, is, is part of learning to walk. And it's true about, um, failure, right? It's important and, and necessary for us to learn what's next. So if we have compassion and show caring, not only to ourselves, but to other people uh, when they're learning and, and recognize that there is a, there's a learning curve, it, it, that's a real thing. And in order to become masterful at anything, it takes a willingness to um, to do it wrong. And I like to just stop using the word failure and just recognize that, you know, there's a, there's a mastery scale, right. And you're not yet a master and what's necessary are various, um, steps along the way. And sometimes they're what we think they should look like. And sometimes they're what the, we, we have an opinion that they shouldn't look that way, but it's all part of the game of mastery. Well, beautifully said. And if people want more information, they can um, learn about our Keeping the Best program on our website or um, our. they can get a free coaching guide at emsleadershipacademy.com forward slash coaching with some other uh, recommended tips for addressing this issue. Thanks for joining us.